Hello, how are you? My name is Gordon, the nurse philanthropist, and I'm also the program director at First American Health Institute. We offer several services, and uh, if you want to learn about us, just log into www.firstamericanhealthinstitute.com and you'll be able to learn about us. So today I just want to talk about the hiring process of a certified nursing assistant and also registered nurses. And one question that I usually receive from the nurses and also the nursing assistants who usually consult me to help them with the application process is which specialty are they supposed to list? So talking about the nursing assistant application process, I will advise you that uh, the most popular specialties are accident and emergency, also known as ER, uh, medical surge unit, and uh, critical care units. Most recruiters prefers nursing assistant who are working in facilities uh, that have got inpatient services. In other one, I mean that uh, most of the people getting recruited are people working on the floors or in the wards and with the exception of accident and emergency area. Now for nurses, nurses are also supposed to list their speciality and uh, based on the US context, the speciality is the unit that you've worked the longest. Speciality is the unit you feel comfortable working in and most of the time the word speciality does not refers to the other academic qualification that you possess post BSN or post diploma in uh, community health nursing. For instance, if you are asked to write your speciality and uh, you have a higher diploma in oncology but because your hospital do not offer oncology services you've been deployed to work in the medical ward so when you're asked to state your speciality you are not supposed to say that uh, your speciality is oncology as per the u.s system your speciality is the unit that you're working at regardless of other post academic qualification that you hold now for this case because you're working in the medical unit your speciality is, is is the medical ward not the other qualification that you hold in oncology and remember also in the u.s they combine medical and surgical ward so most of the time they will say medical and surgical floor or m Yes. So if you're working in the surgical floor or in, or in the surgical ward or the medical ward, you'll just say or you'll just choose your specialty to be medical surgical unit. And the same also applies to those nurses working in the ICU. If they ask you, can you specify your specialty? And you know very well that you don't have a higher diploma in critical care or you don't have a master of science degree in critical care my friend your speciality is the icu icu is your speciality despite the fact that you do not have any academic qualification in icu because american context recognize the unit that you've worked the longest as your specialized area and for this case ICU is the unit that you've worked longest or the unit that you are currently working at so your specialized area is ICU despite the fact that you do not have any post basic qualification in ICU so remember to follow us on Facebook Remember to subscribe and like our videos on YouTube and also on TikTok. If you have any question, just write it in the comment section 
and I'll be able to respond on it. And also remember we are recruiting or we are enrolling nursing assistant student for our October 2023 class. We are both offering nursing assistant education via online and also physical learning. You are welcome. Bye bye for now.